2007 Dodge Caliber 1.8 liter. Looks to be about the same as the 2.0, the 2.4 liter right now. Going to be disconnecting the battery right here, 10 millimeter bolt. Take that off. And I think what we'll do is take this hose off, 516 so or 8 millimeter, and the same at the other end. It's difficult to see. There's one down there at the throttle body. We'll be t following that hose down there and taking off the same clamp, same style, 8 millimeter, 5 sixteenths. Need to slide this back. We need a screwdriver, and then we can uh, push this tab and uh, remove it, or you can twist it and pull it out of its hole. But we're probably going to push this back. Remove it. Like so. Here's my new starter and a selection of some of the tools. Maybe a stubby screwdriver or my 516s, 8mm. I got some. Uh, extensions to get to that throttle body and you might even be able to reach it from underneath easier it's kind of up to you what you're comfortable doing and what the weather conditions might be like got my light down there you can kind of see the uh, hose down there then that I'm getting to <laughs> yeah that is a good view of the throttle body right there. You gotta disconnect that stupid thing right there. Stupid thing. It's stupid. So. That's what we'll be doing. Hope everything's in focus. All right, then we we'll wanna get up here and we we'll wanna disconnect this electrical connector because we'll be taking the throttle body off. Should be just two tabs, you can squeeze the tabs, one on each side and uh, pull it off. And you kind of start to see uh, 10 millimeter bolts, there's probably two or three of them. Let's see, up. Oh, that was going to be four, four throttle body bolts, 10 millimeter, and pull that off. Looks like maybe a bracket we might have to deal with too, on the right side there. We've just used our uh, my air ratchet to take off the bolts. There's a bolt, so I got four bolts loose. And we'll just go up there and uh, take that off too. So 13 millimeter bolt up there, and that's a bracket. Uh, we should be able to allow us to take that throttle body off of the engine. Here's a little look from the other side. Let's get to it. That 13 millimeter bolt. have one more 10 millimeter bolt I guess isn't all the way loose and then we can pull it out so here's the throttle body we talked about taking about this is a motor here controls the throttle no more cables Just a large motor opening the throttle body I 
I can see one of the starter bolts there. And there's going to be one up on top too, probably. Two 15 millimeter bolts hold the starter in place. And that's what I used right there. Maybe a five inch extension and a long socket. Then an air ratchet. You can just use a regular ratchet. So it's loose right now. I do have some concerns about this really coming out, but we'll see if we can twist it out from above. We'll see. So here's the view from above. We're supposed to uh, push the starter underneath the intake and then pull it out this way. That is the theory. I would consider disconnecting the battery positive and the wire, whatever cable is going to the starter, to give myself some more slack. So I'm considering that. But you can see in there should be enough room here to do exactly what it says. Alright, it has been difficult, but I think you can see I got the nose of the starter up and out. Again, I would recommend getting as much slack as you can, maybe even disconnecting that battery positive cable so it can push back. I think that's one of the bigger problems is tension. You can see I also removed a connector right there in front in the center of the picture. Remove that connector to give me more space. I was also able to reach at the starter and pull off the starter wire, start wire. need to pinch that to release it right there Just, so I got that off and I think I'm gonna be able to fish it up and out of there looks like a knock sensor back there I don't know how well you can see it because so there's a knock sensor back there just be a little careful of that and a lot of finagling that's all I can say but I think it is gonna come out if I twist a little more and Pull it up. All right, success in getting it out. Finally, pulling it out. I also did take out this vacuum line. It's probably a, a evaporative emissions line too, down on the throttle body, because it just crossed right in front, like that, down to the throttle body. It was a pain, so I pulled it off. It's just going to give me that much more freedom to uh, work in this confined space. So, just a 13 millimeter bolt. It looks like, take the starter off, put the new one back in, and then uh, fish it or finagle it backwards. Really sorry that I can't uh, get the how-to I did it and videotape that, but I can't really hold the video. And I was using two hands most of the time. It doesn't read really any camera any good camera angle that I could tell for shooting this video so I do apologize for that but I'm showing you can get it out of there Just a little ending video. It's the new starters starting to be installed. You see the ground wire with the 15 millimeter bolt on the top. And we can put the 15 millimeter bolt down here in the bottom. You get to most of it all right up here. I did, uh, as you see, bungee cord the upper hose out of the way, which was helpful. Of course, got this tube out of the way. 
Got that battery out. Got that cable out of the way too. Unplug this. I think it just gives a good amount of space. So I hope this uh, video helps you take yours out and put yours in. All right, and you need to remove this to get to the battery. Get to the a little space, a little elbow space. We got these things to turn here. Get these out. You see it fits in the slot right there. Then you can access the battery. Disconnect the battery, 10 millimeter.